So I wanted to give you guys the preliminary results from some primary elections that took place today. As I report on this, um, they're still counting the vote, but for the most part, we do have the results from a number of really important races that we were watching. Now, in particular, I was watching the races in Ohio and West Virginia. So I was rooting for Dennis Kucinich in the gubernatorial race in Ohio, and I was uh, rooting for Paula Jean Smurgeon in the senatorial race in the state of West Virginia. Now, when it comes to Joe Manchin versus Paula Jean Swearingen, she got crushed. Uh, Joe Manchin, at this point, with 43% of precincts reporting, got 69.2% of the vote to Paula Jean Swearingen's 30.8% of the vote. So that is a definite gut punch. That one hurt because she was one of the most visible progressives she was running a fantastic campaign and she refused corporate money so this sucks because this was someone who if she would have won that primary she would have really made a difference for the people of west virginia and the united states but unfortunately corporatist joe manchin he won so i mean this is something that it, it sucks right but we don't want to get too down on ourselves about this because we know going into these races that um, we're at a huge disadvantage. If you're not taking corporate cash, it's difficult to get your name out there. And Paula Jean Swearingen, she didn't have the name recognition um, that Joe Manchin had. Um, and certainly to run for Senate is definitely more ambitious. It's more difficult than running for the House. So this sucks. The fact that it was that large of a margin to where she lost, like he doubled at this point. I mean, we don't know for sure, but he doubled her vote total. That that hurts, especially for someone as big as a sellout as he is. But she ran a phenomenal campaign, so I don't think that she should be down on herself. But certainly, you know, this sucks. I'm not going to lie. This is incredibly disappointing. Now, getting to another race. So, in Ohio, it was Dennis Kucinich and essentially Richard Cordray who faced off. Richard Cordray is, he's not the worst Democrat, but... I wouldn't call him a progressive. He was endorsed by Elizabeth Warren because he's the former head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So she loves him. But is he progressive? I mean, on some issues, sure. He supports universal pre-K. He does not support Medicare for all. So um, when it comes to him versus Dennis Kucinich, I mean, clearly, if you're progressive, the one to root for undoubtedly was Dennis Kucinich. He lost. So with 19% of precincts still reporting, this is early, um, it's being called for Richard Cordray. He got 62.6% .6 of the vote, whereas Dennis Kucinich got 22.5% of the vote. Richard Cordray nearly tripled Dennis Kucinich. So awful showing, um, for progressives. But I mean, I'm really proud of Dennis Kucinich for being an unapologetic progressive. He, he pulled no punches and he ran a campaign based specifically on the issues. And there were smears against him. And, you know, the establishment did not like him. They were rooting for Richard Cordray, and they got what they wanted. Now, I do want to talk about a Republican primary in West Virginia between, <laughs> I guess you could say, more moderate Republicans and a complete lunatic named Don Blankenship that everyone was freaking out about. This guy, there was really something off about him like it wasn't just that politically he was wrong on every issue ever um he refers to chinese people as china people swamp captain mitch mcconnell has created millions of jobs for china people while doing so mitch has gotten rich in fact his china family has given him tens of millions of dollars mitch's swamp people are now running false negative ads against me they are also childishly calling me despicable and mentally ill the war to drain the swamp and create jobs for West Virginia people has begun. I will beat Joe Manchin and ditch Cocaine Mitch for the sake of the kids. What the hell did you just say? Thankfully, that guy lost. He garnered 19.4% of the vote. He came in third. Um, at this point, they're not calling it, but Patrick Morrissey certainly has a hefty lead with 36.5% of the vote. But for the most part, it seems like... Um, Don Blankenship is defeated. Evan Jenkins is coming in second there. Um, so that's good news. But getting getting to um, the progressive races, that's the ones that are very difficult. But let me just say this to progressives. Do not allow this to demoralize you because that is what the establishment wants. They want you 
to look at these defeats of Palaji and Swearingen and uh, Dennis Kucinich and think, well, there you have it. We were right. The moderates are the way to go. But when we decided to start a political revolution and continue Bernie Sanders' political revolution, rather, none of us were under the illusion that this would be easy. This is difficult. We are going up against a behemoth, the establishment. And that's something that's very difficult to do. And because we're principled, we are handicapping ourselves by not taking corporate money. But that's the right thing to do. If we're going to win, we're going to win the right way. And our candidates are going to prove to us that they're not corrupt. So we're not going to win every single race. We may not even win a lot of races. Maybe we just win a few. But that doesn't mean that we stop. What we are advocating for are policy positions that are popular, that the overwhelming majority of the American people support. And we may not have the money, we may not have the name recognition, we may not have the resources that some of these corporate Democrats have, but that doesn't mean we stop, we keep going. You win some, you lose some, that's politics, but we have to get over it and we have to keep fighting. There are other progressives out there that need our support. Amy Valela. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Allison Hartson, or David Hildebrand against Dianne Feinstein. They need our support. So we can't give up. We can't be defeated and demoralized, even though it sucks. Um, we just have to keep going. Because this is tough. But we knew that when we started this. So, um, yeah. The fight continues. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.